What's going on guys? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So today, um, oh man, let's let's do a little bit of an update. So, but before I get into this video, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Man, I'm really grinding out this channel and I want it to grow. Just like, comment and share and subscribe, bro. Helps me out a lot. Anyway, bit of an update. So yesterday, so today is one of our last days um, for a while in the workshop. Yesterday, we got the power steering rack completely depowered. That is now a steering rack, not a power steering rack. If you watched yesterday's video, you could see that I completely depowered it. And uh, yeah, so today, the engine is going inside the car. Very, very cool stuff. Um, the engine is, it's pretty much done. Look at it. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, damn. Look at that turbo. Anyway, so flywheel is on. Um, I did film a bit of that, so I'll show you a bit of that later. But so we got that done. We kind of got everything like ready. The dipstick's in. You know, all these uh, these manifold bolts and stuff, they're tightened down. Um, I don't know if you can see, but like, everything's got clamps on it. Everything's, everything's tight, man. Look at that, ooh. But um, yeah, so today, today, this morning, we're gonna be putting the clutch in, a release bearing into the transmission. Boom, look at this. Oh, beautiful. So yesterday, I was like, yo, I'm gonna put the engine in the car today. Put the flywheel on. And then I've, I've come over here, grabbed my clutch, gone to put um, everything else on, and I opened my bag of bolts. And what do I have? One, two, three, four, five bolts. Oh, but I need six. Uh, I wonder what the bleh. So this morning, but wait, so when I realized, that I needed another bolt, it's too late. The bolt store was shut, my guy. It was shut. So I had to wait till this morning to go buy a bolt. And it sucks because this bolt is, this bolt is a MH times one. It's a very fine thread bolt. And they're not very easy to get. So, that's what's gonna be going on today. We're gonna to be putting the engine in the car. I gotta put the transmission on, which is currently just chucked over there. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be an engine in the car by the end of the day. <gasps> wow, crazy stuff, crazy, crazy stuff. But I think for now, we're gonna put the, uh, we're gonna put the old uh, pressure, we're gonna put the clutch on. So let's do that. Strong tip. For anyone who puts an engine on an engine crane and wants to leave it overnight, never, ever leave your engine suspended on an engine crane overnight. Just don't do it because the chances are that the gas strut in the crane leaks, right? So always make sure you leave it kind of just teetering on a tire. So put a tire underneath it, lower it onto the tire just a little bit, and then when it leaks overnight, it'll kind of just sink slowly into the tire. So I personally like to wear gloves and doing clutch related stuff because the flywheel machine, uh, the flywheel surface and all that have to be extremely clean. Now, if you didn't know, this is what a clutch plate looks like. This is an organic sprung clutch. These are the torsion springs, and normally the torsion springs will face the transmission side, but on most clutches, it'll actually say, mine says TM side, so transmission side, so we know that that goes that way. get torque per spec because as you're tightening these down you're actually putting spring load onto the clutch plate itself so 
you can't just tighten these all willy-nilly. You need them to be torqued and they need to be done in a specific crisscross pattern. Four. Six. All right. All done, all torqued. Let's see if the, oh no, I'm gonna put the throat bearing in. Uh, here we have my transmission, which I can't be bothered cleaning. But, as you can see, here is my release bearing. This is my clutch fork, and I have to replace this release bearing. Now I could clean all the crud out of here, but to be honest, I'm pretty over it. So I don't think that I will be doing that. Alrighty, so that just comes off like that. Now how I got that off, let me show you really quickly. Ah. Anyway. So at the back side of this, there's just a little like fucking, there's just like a little clip. And all you do is put your arm your fingers behind it like this and spread it open and it will pull off. So I am just going to wipe that down with a rag and grease the bejeebus out of it. And then, uh, yeah, so you replace a uh, throw out bearing. Because in the reality, having this greased is not going to be a bad thing. Not going to do any damage having it greased. It's ready to go on. All right, pretty much what you're gonna walk about to watch is pretty much extremely dangerous, so I wouldn't recommend trying in at home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As you can see, I am absolutely destroyed. The engine, the engine is in the car. Oh my goodness, thank you. The car, the the, the engine's in the car. Uh, so it looks hectic. I'm so happy with how it looks and so excited to now get it finished. Um, as you can see, I have these little cheeky headlights as well. But man, does it look good. Um, but yeah man, this has been such a road just to get it in the car and I'm so happy that it's actually in the car. Um, but now comes the real hard part of having to plumb everything, wire everything, connect everything and do a lot of work. A lot of thinking as well, so it's gonna be fun. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, tune in for the next one, and I'll catch you out. Thanks to you so much, Carl out. Holy fuck. <laughs>
That was a claw ball. Oh no, I don't have any room. Hmm.